Okay, I thought this might be the best way to give you uh, an idea of what we'd like to do on Mamarazzi. Um, so, on OCMT, let's review what OCMT does first. Basically, they're giving, they're selling classes. Um, if you go to the class schedule, we want a similar page. I'll show you on Mamarazzi. I uh, want a class schedule page here. If we go to Mamarazzi, um, right now we've got a page called class schedule. So we'll just have that one class schedule be the entire schedule. We'll get rid of all these other, you know, breakdowns of classes. Um, so we have one class schedule page, and we'll have a class schedule similar similar to this. Um, what we've got here is on OCMT, you click the class schedule over here, there's a view all, November, December, and January. So it shows the next three months worth of classes, and I like that feature where it only shows the next three months worth of classes. These dates are categories inside the dashboard. If we go to the, or inside of the back end, we go to categories, uh, it's simply classes, and there's all of the uh, subcategories under classes, and those are the dates that show up yeah, on the front end. Um, right here you'll see that this is classes full. So there's the register button. The register switches from uh, uh, to full when all the seats are gone. That's right. There's inventory control. If we go back to the back end, there's a registration section here. Registrations, coupon codes, email terms, inventory, and gift cards. Uh, so inventory here, and we can look at this specific class, which is Fullerton AM range, November 29th through December 2nd. And we could find that class, I'm sure, here somewhere. Um, December 29th, here, find it here. Right here. Um, so there's zero seats left. So if we want to edit this, add classes, edit the inventory, we can. Um, let's see here. The, if we go back here, you'll see that this class has seven seats remaining, so it shows the number of seats remaining down here. This has a price. Now, we only have one price. These are done through posts. Posts are assigned to a category, and they show up here. There's this additional information, which is uh, their classes are broken into three different segments on three different days. We don't need this. So here will just be a description of the class, and what I'd also like is an image just like this. Um, you can pull this image in and it'll be uh, an icon that we'll, we'll put together a different icon. So each post will have to have uh, an image that we can use specifically for that uh, type of class. Um, and there are different types of classes in Mamarazzi. So you see here, at, there's action workshops, action shots, module, camera lens module, creative composition module, field trip, photo class, portraits, post-production. So either we can just assign um, a picture or we have that already assigned via like a drop down or something uh, or a custom uh, perhaps a custom uh, field um, that we would assign we would just assign it you know class type and then we could type in the class type so you see here here's all the classes and you can see they have I don't really have a description but here's the first class second class third class that shows up in the middle Instead of having that, we want to get rid of that and just use the description here. Um, price information. We don't need an over 21 or under 21. We just need one price. We put the price in there. Here's the initial class uh, inventory. Um, and then class code. Um, and then we don't need this. Uh, we do need location information, but I need a text uh, uh, information right here where it would be uh, text-based. So we'd type it in, and it would show up. Um, here, down below, it would say classroom will take, uh, you know, class takes place blank. Uh, it'll be just one. It'll show the information where the class takes place. Pretty straightforward. It'll just show uh, this defaults to all, or you can select a specific month. See what's left here in uh, November. There's just two classes remain, two classes remaining, um, and it goes pulls the date, date in of the class. I believe that's in here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. This is a specific class date. No, it's just assigned to November, and I'm not sure how she closes the class out. Uh, let me see here. 
I don't think there is a way to close the class out. Uh, apparently it's using the dates set here. I would guess somehow. I'm trying to figure out how does it know which class and why is there only November classes. And by date. Well, uh, okay. So anyway, um, somehow it's, it's pulling that down, and that's a great feature. I'm not sure if uh, that is... Um, I'm not sure how it's doing that, but that is a feature we'd like to like to keep. Um, if you look here, you also have my category order, so we've got the option to um, change the uh, you can click click to order subcategories and you can actually drag and drop these and order the subcategories around. Um, and then reorder classes. It's the same feature, drag and drop, and you can reorder the classes that uh, are currently available. Um, and that will change the order in which they show up on the list here. Um, they all have one type of class. We have multiple types of classes, so I'm not sh quite sure how that's going to fit in, other than the image can change, and then I can just change the title uh, and set the price, so we don't really, the system doesn't really have to know that it's a different class. Um, but that's essentially it. That's the features we want. Um, I'm going to provide this with the also the login to log into the back here uh, so that you can look at this information uh, as well as FTP info to download the site um, and you know set up a copy for yourself if you need to. So obviously uh, if you haven't already done that. So that's a quick breakdown. I hope that helps and gives you an idea of what we're looking to do on Mamarazzi and I need this done as quickly as possible. Uh, that's it.